Hi, so next I would like to show you a theorem why we like uniform integrability even before talking about Martingales. So here is this theorem. Assume that we have a P at least, oh, let P at least one, let P be at least one real, and assume that Xn, so assume that we have a sequence xn of random variables which converges in probability to x. Okay, suppose we have convergence in probability of xn to x and we have a p, at least one real number. Then I'm going to tell you about five statements in a second. And so the theorem is that five, uh, one, two, and three of those five statements are equivalent so they happen or don't happen at the same time and then there's gonna be further two four and five so these are all equivalent four and five will each separately include uh, imply one or two or three which are all equivalent so the theorem is that of the statements below which i'm going to do in a second uh, 1, 2, and 3 are equivalent, and 4 implies any of them, and 5 implies any of them. Okay, so statement 1 is that not only in probability, but in LP as well, we have convergence. That's statement 1. Statement 2 is that Xn is peace power uniformly integrable. That's statement two. Statement three is that the P norms converge. So X and P norm converges to X P norm. That's statement three. Statement four is that we have a bound in L Q so xn is bounded in lq for some q that's larger than p but still finite okay so p is fixed and for some q larger than that we have boundedness in lq and then number five is that there exists a bounded variable uh, a bounding variable in lp itself so random variable that bounds all of the x ends in absolute value. Okay, so the theorem is that if we have in probability convergence, then these three are equivalent. So once this is fixed, when we know convergence in probability, LP convergence is equivalent to being P power uniformly integrable. It's also equivalent to the P norms themselves converging and then if we have in probability convergence then being bounded in LQ for some Q larger than P or having a bounding random variable in LP each imply any of these three one two or three okay that's the that's the content of this theorem now before we have seen a theorem about various modes of convergence and that theorem told us that almost sure implied improbability which implied weak and LP also implied improbability which implied weak so in particular LP implied improbability this thing here is about going backwards assume LP oh sorry assume improbability convergence assume improbability convergence we can conclude LP if for example we have uniform integrability and that's probably the most often used uh, way of the theorem assume you have convergence in probability assume you can show uniform integrability then you also have lp convergence so you could you could go back in that theor theorem we saw a bit earlier about modes of convergences we can go back from in probability to lp if we have uniform integrability that's probably the most important way of using this theorem